We're in the Toyota fuel cell vehicle display, a naked fuel cell vehicle behind us. Jonathan Strickland from Forward Thinking joining us. Thanks for joining us, man. Thanks, man. Techzilla Bikes, we're feeding your tech hunger fast. Let's talk about fuel cell vehicles. And let me point out right now, Toyota is sponsoring our CES coverage. I want to thank them for that. And I also want to talk about hydrogen. Can hydrogen really be practical to run a vehicle? Uh, actually, hydrogen could be used to run a vehicle a couple different ways. You could use it in a combustion engine, very much the same way that we use gasoline. But fuel cell is really exciting because fuel cell vehicles produce really three things. With hydrogen and oxygen, you produce electricity, a little bit of heat, and water, and that's it. So you're talking about zero harmful emissions with water vapor being the only greenhouse gas that gets released. I mean, literally, we can drink the exhaust off of this, and it's kind of literally an electric car. Yes, it's exactly true. That is an electric car. You're just getting the electricity. Instead of a battery, you're using a fuel cell. Fuel cells and batteries both use electrochemical processes. It's just that a battery, it's all contained right there. In a fuel cell, you're constantly putting fuel into it to keep that electricity generating. Is it, so it is, is reverse electrolysis what's going on here? That's exactly right, yeah, electrolysis. If you know your history, you know, uh, you'll go back to Johann Ritter back in 1800. He discovered that by running an electric current through water, you would release both hydrogen and oxygen. So then people thought, wait a minute, if we reverse that process, wouldn't that mean that you get a release of electricity? And indeed, that's exactly what happens. So essentially what you have are two chambers with a membrane that separates the two. Oxygen goes in one, hydrogen in the other. The membrane only allows positively charged ions to pass through. A catalyst makes the hydrogen dump its electrons. The electrons run through a circuit, rejoin the hydrogen and oxygen on the other side. That's how you get your electricity and water. So it also actually, we should point out, generates a bunch of heat, which is why you have a big grill on the FCV design. Um, they actually did some crazy testing with this vehicle. They, they took it to basically the far ends of Canada at negative 21. They ran it in Death Valley at 100 something degrees. How much heat are we talking about under the hood? You know, it all depends on exactly what fuel cell technology they have in there, and Toyota's being a little coy about that, but it's probably running in the range of, we're talking about a little over 150, maybe 200 degrees Fahrenheit, because your permeable membrane fuel cells operate at that temperature at their ideal best. Now, there are other fuel cell technologies that run more around 800 or 900 degrees Celsius, but I guarantee you that's not the kind that's running this car. If it was, we could actually instantaneously cook eggs on it, which would be a plus. But yeah, actually the heat control on that would be a nightmare. Um, forward thinking, what's coming up for you guys? Oh, well, you know, we're all about the future. So literally everything we're covering here is what we're going to be covering in forward thinking. We're talking Internet of Things. We're talking robotics. We're talking 3D printing. We're talking about all the technology that's bringing the future into the present and how awesome it's going to be. One last question. What's your favorite thing you've seen so far at CES? Oh, oh I love this question. It's always a tough one. I got to say, all right, it's got to be the Cola B uh, toothbrush. I know it sounds silly, but it's a toothbrush that actually tells you how well you're brushing your teeth. It grades you based on the duration and the style of brushing your teeth. Now, on the surface, that sounds silly, but ultimately, that could mean fewer hours in the dentist chair, like which to me, thought. best use of technology ever. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jonathan Strickland, Forward Thinking. I'm Patrick Norton. We want you to go check out our shows. Where's Forward Thinking at? FWThinking.com. I'm at techzilla.com. Please subscribe to youtube.com slash techzilla. Please comment down below or tweet at techzilla. We're going to go find more cool stuff at CS2014. Jonathan, thanks so much, man. It's so cool.